Hello, I'm Martin Franska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 3. So, last time basically everything that I was planning fell apart, uh, partially because of uh, just some bad luck and partially because of my lack of knowledge and bad planning. Uh, the previous emperor died, uh, the emperor that built the whole Imperium United, basically completely the British Isles and uh, well his son who was supposed to go in his or follow in his steps uh, well isn't exactly who we needed him to be it started with the great pox that uh, he infected his wife with and then also the fact that he is compassionate doesn't really work that well with his uh, lifestyle because we can't blackmail people basically so we'll be losing a ton of money uh we can still sell hooks so if we get some hooks legally if we for example i think if we imprison or not imprison if we capture someone during a war then we can uh like Actually, that's just ransom people. That's not selling hooks. But it's possible that we get hooks, for example, when we help someone in the war. Or use someone's claim for war and that someone then will, like, owe us and uh, we can sell that hook. It's possible, but blackmailing is not really an option. Also, murdering people, it seems there is a problem for compassionate people. So the things that... Uh, I used to do a lot to get money to uh, weaken my potential enemies won't work. The good thing is that with great pox, Benedict should probably die quite early. I was thinking about that and um, Princess Malt actually is not a bad option for an heir. She's seven. Her stats won't be great, but uh, she seems like she won't have any like horrible traits. If we find her decent husband, uh, her heir could be okay. So it's just gonna be like two generations, most likely, when we all just have to sit back and. Uh, wait until we get the next really good emperor if we get like ridiculously lucky then we may get a son who is healthy it's not gonna happen like it's 50 percent chance that it's son and then probably like five percent chance that he is healthy but there is a chance so that would also help us in that case, we probably want Benedict to survive for as long as possible, uh, ideally until the sun would be 16. But that's too many, like, ifs, so let's just take it turn, or not turn by turn, like, year by year, see what happens. Uh, before I started recording, I made some changes. Um... Uh, I had to give away some of my domains, so I gave away all of the domains in Holland uh, to one of my knights. But when I did that, when I made him a duke, uh, I lost my chancellor, I guess he left with the, the knight as a part of his newly formed court. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had to find a new chancellor. Uh, it wasn't really a big issue. I found a chancellor with Diplomacy 22, so that that's great. Uh, it was through a matrilinear marriage to one of my courtiers. Uh, and uh, I wanted to like make him a chancellor before I started recording, so I was waiting uh, for the uh, for the, like the agreement to 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 the marriage it was like five days but in those five or seven days <clears throat> i got an event that my niece is uh is pregnant with someone other than her husband i'm not sure who uh and i had to make a decision either ignore that and lose a level of devotion or imprison her and then her whole family is gonna dislike me uh 
But I didn't want to lose the devotion, so I imprisoned her and I immediately released her for 100 gold. So if you were wondering how do I get extra money, that's what happened. Mm, nothing like super important, I'm just saying that it happened, just in case it has consequences later. Uh, I'm not sure if I can find her even, probably not. Yeah, I don't think so. So are my siblings. Actually, it's this one. I did find her. There we go, adult her. Yeah, so I imprisoned this one, then I immediately released the 400 gold to avoid, to avoid the, uh, the, um, uh, the devotion drop okay but enough talking let's uh, unpause i'm fabricating claim uh, on maastricht we are trying to sway this guy how is the progress on that oh we just started i think we failed the previous attempt somehow is there anything interesting here uh don't want to imprison anyone no, no, declare wars. Denmark, West Franca, Brittany. I have claims on... Oh, right, I do have claims because they are considered uh, heretics. Brittany. Here, yeah, we probably should use this claim. So maybe that's what we're going to start. We're going to declare war. We have quite a lot of money. So even though we're going to be losing... A ton of money during the war. It, I think, is worth it. Um, one good thing about being compassionate is that we can basically commit suicide at any point by blackmailing some people and uh, let the stress go to uh, like 300. <clears throat> And I may actually even do that uh, once I see who is the next uh, next child gonna be. Then, uh, if it also has great pogs and just overall isn't good enough, then I'm just gonna wait for Malt uh, to grow up, and when she's 16, I'll just commit suicide through stress. But well, for now, let's focus on the on the present, and we're gonna declare war. So, which one is that? This guy. Declare. I'm gonna raise everything, but then I'm gonna just get rid of a half, most more or less, uh, perks. Probably war profiteer won't make much of a difference. Um. Okay, so this group has all of the siege weapons. Hmm. That means you guys... Well, let's wait for a bit. What is this? Dangerous factions. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on that, but... Can I disband them? No. Be like a three months, four months siege. Should be able to catch him. Since I can't disband this army, may as well use it. 
to wipe out this guy. There we go. Did I get... Or did I capture anyone important? Not really. Look at that. How the hell? How is he so rich? Is that just a random nobody? I don't want to recruit him. Just want to hook. And... Okay, so let's try again. Your newborn son is your new player heir. Well, that's what we wanted. Oh, and it's not just one? I have twins? An entirety of blissful smile. Will hello presents me with two perfect little boys. My sweet children, one of you will grow up to carry on my legacy, and the other will always remain in his shadow. <laughs> I hope you will love <laughs> the other one will always be in the shadow. I, I hope you will love each other. Yeah, sure. Come with me. Can you find some interesting name? Bartholomeus, sure, why not? And Magnus. So, let's have a look. Holy crap! Dude! He is healthy and he is a genius. I call that dodging a bullet. They're... Holy sh... What the... How did that happen? Hmm. Okay, it seems that I have an heir and then I have a spare who is even better. I was just hoping it's gonna be a son who is healthy, basically. This is ridiculous. Uh, well, the question is, I'm not sure if the, if the pox would show up right away. So it's also possible that in a few months we will get a pop-up that both of them have great pox and are gonna die in a year. But... Damn. So far, so good. Again, favor hook. Uh, I should be able to sell this one for ten gold. Yes, thirteen hundred. Yeah, this guy doesn't have any money. Renewal of patronage. After five years, the funds I set aside for the patronage of my uh, natural philosopher Serenity have run out. I 
can now choose whether or not to renew my patronage for another five years or to let them go. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of like the development growth. Uh, I don't think I want to give him the bonus. Yeah, let's go for it. 165. I think I'm willing to pay that. Uh, you can go. We can now change the commander. Wait, where is the commander? Oh, there. Okay, never mind. I'm blind. <clears throat> There are a few things I enjoy more than uh, Empress Wolves Company. Uh, she encouraged me to throw plates and scream into pillow, and after the emotional storm died down, I actually did feel better. After this short break, I felt more at ease than I had in a long time. Lucky to have a friend like Empress Wolf Uh Minus 72 stress. Damn, throwing plates pretty effective. Okay. If I wasn't dying, I would actually be feeling quite good at this point. Uh, let's wipe out another army. We're gonna have so many secrets. And we won't be able to do anything about them. Oh, we might be able to... Get some... No. I'll get a hook on this guy, but do I... Have anything that I could use it for? Not really. I think I'm just gonna keep his son. Could even recruit him. Now I'm gonna keep him. Uh, is he in prison or house arrest? Okay, good. Let's keep him there. <clears throat> did we wipe out the army completely? Yes, we did. Let's rejoin the siege. some more prisoners. Oh, where do we start? Mm. 50 gold. I'll take it. Come on, say yes.
That's better. Okay, so now we have to give that county to someone, but it's a part of... No, it's not part of Brittany. So to whom do you want to give it? Let's find someone with semi-decent stewardship. Let's give it to that uh, philosopher of mine. The guy who just got the 160 gold. Let's first of all, let's make him a count. And now we're going to find him a what? Oh, I can't. Wait, when I give him land, I lose. At the bonus? Why? I had no idea. Okay, whatever. I have thrown away the money. I had no idea that it would disappear, unfortunately. Uh, oh, I can declare on uh, the Umayyad. Who is your ally? I could declare for the kingdom. Maybe I would try. Let's check the map again. Because so I would get all of this. And then... There's no one else who'd be able to really fight me yeah, if I defeat the my aunt uh, I'll be able to take the whole Iberian Peninsula let's check their army composition Seven hundred armored footmen. That's and four hundred cam uh, camel riders. That's pretty nasty. Hmm.
How many men does this ally have? 1500. Light footmen, some camera raiders. It's tempting. Okay, that's not gonna happen. 119 stress is just too much. I was thinking that maybe I could try to murder one person because I really want to get rid of the King of Francia. Yeah. But 119 stress, there's just no way. Well, just don't pause. Continue for a while. Uh, do you have truce with anybody? Lotharingia? All oh, right, we have that f the dangerous faction. That's probably a reason not to declare war. Uh, who is this? It's a pretty strong faction. It's 33 months, so we do have some time to uh, weaken them. Scheme at court. Someone is planning to kill my sister Beatrice. Do I care? Probably not. I'm checking how is it possible that I can commit suicide. What changed? Is it because I have the great box? Mm, I'll just keep going. <clears throat> I try strongly considering the war. Let's keep 
Kimmer discovered. Who is that? My spymaster has come to me with grave news. It is my vassal, Count Madrun, uh, that is plotting against my sister. Hmm. What's the chance? 72%. Um, it's actually pretty ridiculous how much compassionate like prevents me from playing the game the way I all or always usually do. Basically everything that I like doing is penalized with compassionate. 72. Does she have money? No. Yeah, I'm gonna pass for now. Um, is there any dealings? The Guild of Stonemasons has established itself in the county of Somerset, having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service. Could help the foreign, uh, could help the region flourish. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna try that 52% chance to get the best option. Let's see. And it worked. After a lengthy audience, the Chief Mason will budge no further. For a lower price than this, it cannot be done. Oh no no no! I didn't uh, didn't get the first option, but it's fine. It's in Somerset. Do you want to take advantage of this? military camps I think oh, I can't queue it up yeah one thing at a time never mind Greetings, Emperor Beric of Albion. With the ongoing conflict between Duke Murphy and Duke Gathan, I have been working tirelessly to get the heart of their quarrel. I believe that with the right encouragement, I may be reached. Poets claim for ends and white peas. I spend prestige, but unfortunately, I don't have much prestige. We are now making 20 gold per month, so I think I will just pay. Should be careful with how much money I'm spending. <clears throat> but I think I can afford this. Um, it's not enough. How much am I missing now? Seven. 
it uh, it was seven. I mean, it was fourteen, and now it's seven. So hopefully next time, uh, can I give him something? Hundred gold to bring him into the fold. I want this to be finally somehow resolved. There we go. Excellent. Now, it's only West Frankia. This guy's probably gonna live for another like 50 years. And look who is his primary heir. What the hell? Who the hell is this guy? What the hell? Who is this? Oh, I have a claim here somehow. I do have some random claims all over the place. I still don't think I'm quite strong enough for this. Yeah, I'm definitely not strong enough. He has now even more allies. Actually. You know what, guys? Let's make a cut here. And... Um, I'll have to decide what I'm gonna do next because we now have two decent options. I think Frankia now is a relevant target because his allies are basically non-existent. Like this guy has 800 men, but he would have to march from from here. Also, I don't have to fight for these counties. I can fight for something that's actually on the continent. So with that, I will be able to get the war goal immediately. 
and then just protect it. I'm gonna have to worry about sending half of my men, not half, like some of my men north. If I attack here and win, I'll be able to just keep going, basically. Right? Yeah. Oh, but the holy war after holy war. Okay, as I said, let's make a cut here. I have to say that uh, this episode went much better than I expected. Uh, well, of course, it's because of our two sons. I have no idea how it happened that we have not one, but two sons. They are both geniuses and they uh, don't have the great pogs. I mean, that's insanely lucky, but I'll take it. Um, so yeah, we are done with this episode. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you can join me next time again. Now until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.